Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Easy Freezer Meals. And this is a very special episode because we're going to be talking all about black garlic. And you might ask yourself, why am I featuring black garlic on a freezer meal channel? Well, it's because in the next few videos, we're going to be making recipes that include black garlic as an ingredient. And I figured if I'm going to show you how to make recipes with this as an ingredient, let me at least show you how to make it. I'm also going to provide a link where you can buy it, but trust me, you're going to want to make it because it is amazing. All you need is fresh garlic. Just make sure it doesn't have any roots growing or any stalks or stems coming out the center. And uh, if you can get your hands on organic garlic, that's great. You want to get your hands on one of those oven bags and um, the, like, you know, the turkey size is, is most commonly the one you can find at the store. Also, the steamer basket that came with your rice cooker, but you're going to want to remove the rim. Now, if you don't want to remove the rim or if you lost it, all you need is a bunch of chopsticks and cut them to fit inside of this cooking vessel so that when you place your bag in the vessel, it's not sitting directly on the heating element. In my case, I'm just going to slap that steamer basket right in there, and that's where my garlic is going to be sitting. Now, in this method, we're not going to use foil. We're not going to add water. And you're going to notice a couple things. Uh, it, it's an incredibly easy, easy method. There's no cleanup. Literally, there's no cleanup involved. There's no mess. It actually cooks a little bit faster, and the odor is greatly reduced. Now, it's not eliminated, but it's greatly reduced. And so listen, if you're here because you love black garlic and you want to make it, and you're new to our channel, click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell, and we are going to be making some really cool videos that I think you will enjoy, especially if you clicked on this black garlic video. So tie your bag, make sure all the air is out of it, and close the lid. You don't need to poke holes. You don't need to do anything special. And just make sure that your rice cooker is on the keep warm setting, which is the setting by default. Seven days later, a transformation is going to start to happen. Some of your garlic is going to look like little pieces of caramel. Other garlics are going to look a little darker. Some are going to even actually look black. And after doing this experiment with this bag, I notice, look how much moisture is in there. Now, remember, we didn't add water. And um, we are just utilizing the moisture from the garlic itself. And as I look inside of my rice cooker, there's no mess, which is amazing. Because every other time I've made black garlic, there's been a huge mess. And as I open up the bag, I'm noticing that the layer at the bottom is a little more brown, slightly black, than the layer at the top. And so if you're going to do this, the only suggestion that I would say is at day seven, turn the bag completely over to where the top layer is at the bottom and the bottom layer is at the top. Now, let me show you a couple of pieces of garlic that are varying in doneness so that you can see for yourself. This first piece is about, I'm going to say about 70% done, but notice how it's like a milk chocolate. It's not black. It's certainly not white, but it's not quite yet done. Whereas this piece of garlic is more on the black side. And so the, the closer the garlic is to the heating element, which is the very bottom of the rice cooker, the faster it's going to cook. If you only use one layer of garlic, which is about 10 bulbs, I'm going to tell you this thing will probably cook in about 10 days. But if you're like me and you want to pop about 50 bulbs in there at a time, <laughs> then it's going to take about two weeks. And I can't help myself. I need to snag a piece and notice the black on the bulbs of garlic. That's nothing more than the sugars seeping through the skin and completely normal. You don't need to worry about that. As these cook, you're going to notice they're going to start slowly start to get darker and darker and darker, as will the skin. A, a perfectly cooked piece of black garlic is going to have a springy texture, a lot like a gummy bear. If you press it down and it completely dissolves in your hand, well, then it's probably too moist and you want to dry it out. Now, because I'm over here screwing around with my whole bag, I'm going to rearrange them a little bit. But like I said, for you... Just flip the bag over, and uh, you want to make sure when you put it back inside, you, re you release a lot of the air, and then you cover it back up and wait seven more days. Now, 14 days is what I have found that uh, the majority of your garlic is going to get cooked. Some may happen sooner, some may happen later, but you're going to notice that around 14 
to 21 days, your garlic should be completely finished. If you want to leave it in there for another week, you can go ahead and leave it in there for another week. But let me show you what the what the bin looks like after 14 days of cooking. And um, and I, I literally have only opened it once, and that was at seven days. When I, look at the inside. Literally no mess, which is kind of exciting for me. I want to take a second to thank Mira Production. Uh, one of the comments that came through on one of our black garlic videos uh, for suggesting this particular method using the bag. And I got to admit, what a really clever uh, utilization of this particular process. And so here we go. It has been 14 days. By the way, thank you, Mirror Production. I wanted to give you a shout out for that. Okay, it's been 14 days. I'm going to just pull out some of the pieces that are at the top. And um, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. Notice they're nice and golden brown. They're not wet. They're not soggy. The uh, this skin is actually soft, but it's easy to cut through and kind of flaky a little bit. When I cut into the black garlic itself, it's spongy. It's not slimy. It's not sticking to the knife. And it's got a really nice texture. As you can see right there, they look like little gummy bears. And what happens with black garlic over the process of this cook is the sugars start to change and transform. You get a very sweet, balsamic, soy, umami powerhouse of flavor in this little vegetable. Is garlic a vegetable? Maybe it deserves its own category. Either way, if you do not happen to have a rice cooker that locks, don't worry about it. Try this new bag technique and make sure that you close it really tight and see that if it locks in the moisture that that rice cooker would normally lock in for you. And I think you're going to be able to get the same results without having to go out and buy another rice cooker. If you're concerned about how much power your rice cooker is going to use, when I use mine in a two-week period, I generally only add a couple of dollars to my monthly electric bill, which is drastically cheaper than having to go out and buy 50 bulbs of black garlic. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're here because you saw black garlic, click that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for the next video and be sure to share. Talk to you later.